loud. Good morning, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen if you don't know me and today is the start of May Madness and I'm so excited and actually today isn't May, it's like the 30th of April but I needed something since Gymshark 66, like I needed a thing and I've had nothing, I've had no thing. So my thing is, I'm gonna smash it up until my sister's birthday weekend, which is in June. So it's only like five weeks. Um, but to like go hard, essentially, to see how much I can do to get myself back into the good habits that I was in, in January, February and March. So, yes, if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you at work. So it is now actually Wednesday evening. I think it's Wednesday, but I'm not really sure. I'm a bit confused. Hmm, maybe. Anyway, yesterday I took photos of all my food that I did, so I did like a food diary yesterday, and last night I can't even remember what we had for dinner. Both me and Ash were so, so hungry and so tired, like it was so pathetic. And then um, I think we just had, I can't remember, one sec. I just had to check what I filmed yesterday. I filmed all the food that I ate at work. And then when we got home, on my way home, I called Ash to see if there was anything he wanted for dinner. And we, I, oh my God, I ended up buying a garlic flatbread because it was 40p. So we had that with some hummus. Then our main was sweet potato with burger. I didn't have the bun and I had it with baked beans and my stomach felt absolutely horrendous afterwards and then today my stomach has been so so bad i didn't food prep last night again because just tired hungry not not feeling great so today i had an egg and ham sandwich from tesco for breakfast and then i trained after i trained i had my i had um like a pack of chicken and then and went and got a smoothie with the girls and then i just come home and i'm so hungry and i just had some regular bread with hummus so today i've had 1000 calories and i'm honestly so so drained but actually weirdly i wasn't really that hungry this morning so i just yeah, because my stomach was bad. I know that beans make my stomach really bad, but I eat them all the time. And yeah. Um, so yesterday I did train. I trained back and it was a good session, a really quick session. Um, what I'll do is I'll write it on the screen and screen and in the description box, but I didn't actually film it uh, because I was trained with Tom and Stephen who are PTs at the gym I work at. And it was just, we just had a good session and I just got into it. So we did um four sets of eight to ten single arm cable pulls going this way so not in front taking it wide so pronated wide grip we then did three sets of dumbbell single arm rows three sets of a plate loaded sort of wide row and then we did three sets on the lat pull down and then we did three sets of deadlifts to finish which was horrible um I'm not achy yet, but I feel like I will. And then today, me and Marty, Marty who's been like on the side of my videos loads, um, she's one of my clients. We just train like glutes once a week, or I train her a big glute session. You now she does an upper body cardio session on her own, as well as a boot camp class. And then we do like a horrible hit circuit. And today's was really really vile we hadn't last week we didn't do one i don't know why but anyway it was horrible we absolutely died and it is
even want this I rub off Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the yeah, air, that's how I roll I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one, this I rub off Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the yeah, air, that's how I roll I got changes, so I don't care about no gold Better, so much better, flipping the credit ball Always on the show, so they know that I still got it And I never feel sorry, yeah, at top of the world I started this video first clip yesterday morning I actually got yesterday um, early enough to do kind of like a morning face wash routine and put on some tinted moisturizer and bronzer and I was so pumped I had eight PT sessions yesterday Ugh. and then today I almost overslept I like basically um, I thought I pressed snooze but I must have pressed off Blech. Anyway, and then I was nearly late for work. It was really stressful, and then today has just been... Um, but May Madness is just almost a mini me project. So a project for me. Um, and I've mentioned it to a couple of my clients to so just smash it, just that another push. Everyone works so hard in January and February and then it just yeah that's what I did and my clients find that their motivation wavers if they've not had annual leave if they've not rested from work or taken a break from training or had a deload week or whatever it is so um I had my deload week most of my clients were away through April and for Easter and then this is the time now where I want to make sure I'm getting a session in every day and if not a good session in the gym then I just want to make sure I'm hitting at least 10,000 steps so I'm just just active I just try, don't want to have any days of absolutely nothing and then food wise I'm trying to actually hit more calories than I was for Gymshark 66 so I was in quite a big deficit for Gymshark 66 and I did lose weight um, I did lose body fat but afterwards I was really run down and I was ill so that was obviously a bit shit and I want to lose weight and not s stop dieting and then like essentially binge afterwards. I don't know how much I weigh but I'm almost certain I probably weigh pretty much what I did on the at the beginning of Gymshark 66. So I did really good. I lost 6 kilos. I was ill. And then wasn't as active. And then kept on craving crappy food. You know I just, I went, I rebounded. So um... I want to um, do something that I don't rebound from, so something that's basically a bit more sustainable, a bit more of a long-term approach that I don't feel like I need a break from. So that is what May Madness is in terms of like activity and diet. And the other thing I'm doing is writing a program for myself which I thought I would write up into like a nice PDF and then I'm going to make sure there's like a downloadable link somewhere I need to finish setting up my website which I've had before but I took it down there's nothing on it basically um but now I just want to start having lots more projects because at the moment I'm just like I'm doing PT but I'm not really doing any thing that gives me loads of fulfillment that sounds so bad. I've just been a PT for a long time and I, it, I don't... I need something on the side. I need a side piece. 
basically. So, um, as well as YouTube, which is amazing for me for accountability and all that kind of stuff, and moaning and t telling you how tired I am, I need like work projects and stuff as well. And I've been always just so, so, so tired recently. Um, and I, in a way, it, it, it's bet it, um, affects the way I talk to my clients when I'm really tired and run down. Like, I can't string a sentence together, <laughs> like now. Um, and then I'm like, put your elbow in your hand and then move, I can't, like, coaching, it gets really, really hard when I'm tired. And I have a, a feeling that also because I'm not, I'm not, writing much or reading much or working on things my like vocabulary i think has just gone down i just don't know how to talk anymore I, I don't know if that's true or not but in my head i like overthink what i say and then i say or i don't overthink it but i say something and i'm like oh my god you sound retarded and i just want projects and to work on other things that make me happy as well as healthy so that's the whole like vibe i always say that in no videos like stay happy and healthy it's not just about dieting super hard and working really hard in the gym and then actually feeling drained mentally physically emotionally because that's just not the thing um so there's that and yeah i just i want to find the balance of being able to lose weight and therefore be more confident in my body but also just being like happy emotionally oh my god this is so long i actually think i'm going to stop this video here even though it's only like two days um this means that i can upload slightly more frequently and then i i'm just gonna leave my rambles in i think instead of i'd like cut random stupid shit that i say out of videos but i just think fuck it this is gonna stay in but this is from this is may this is work super hard for yourself month <laughs> yeah anyway so yeah excuse this appearance compared to the beginning <laughs> um yeah this is the nicest hoodie in the world um ash got it for me it's gymshark obvs have you seen that grace is doing her own um clothing company I'm so impressed. I might buy the cycling shorts because they look long and they're seamless, so I think they're going to be really flattering. But also, it's all super um, ethical and responsible. And some of it is made from recycled items. And she is just um, killing it. And I've been watching her for so long. And I almost feel like proud of her, even though I've never met her. But anyway random um thank you so much for watching this video if you are also a gym goer or like you're dieting or trying to change your health or your life in any kind of way even if it's your work life not your gym life leave me a comment down below with what you're doing and i can cheer you on and yes i will see you in my next video until then stay happy and healthy Live your best life, smile all the bloody time, and bye. Thanks. See you in my next one, and until then, stay happy and healthy. Bye!